So guys, so before I get the review going, just a big shout out to ETP23 for loaning me this card so I can bring you guys the review. And also, if you're wondering why this is only a mini review, honestly it's because it's just deja vu from a previous card that I reviewed, which I'll explain more later. But for now, here we go. Football Outsiders, Ezekiel Elliott, 91 overall, Energizer, and Dallas Chemistry. 6 foot tall, 92 speed, 92 agility, 93 ball carry, 90 juke, 79 truck, 91 carry, 91 excel, and 90 elusiveness. Kind of surprising that he only has a 79 truck. I mean, you would think his truck would be much higher than that. He does also have an 87 stiff arm and an 87 spin and a 71 catch, I believe. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm very surprised he only has a 79 truck. I mean, you'd think it would be a lot higher than that. But anyways, of course, he is a very fast running back. 92 speed is no joke. As you can see here, he can definitely bounce to the outside. And of course, good blocking never hurts. But with that being said, he's not uncatchable. But... You see stuff like this, it, if you zigzag your way through, you can definitely make people miss and fall on the ground and score touchdowns, but as you see right here, sometimes, once in a while, you'll see stuff like this where you bounce to the outside, you think you're gone, but like I said, he can get caught from behind. When it came to stiff arming, he had an okay stiff arm, it wasn't like mind blowing, I got like a couple of animations, a couple of drags, but when it came to trucking, it just wasn't there. It's almost like every time I try to truck someone, I would get punished with a hit stick, so turning into a power back is not really the best way. And with 92 speed, it should not be that much of a surprise that running up the middle, of course, is a good option. He can definitely hit the hole like this and just take off and get big yards and sometimes even touchdowns. But when it came to breaking tackles, to my surprise, I didn't get too many of them. Not that I didn't get any at all, but just not on the same level as some other running backs. So he may break tackles here and there, but from what I can tell, you're going to have to pretty much earn everything you get with him. When it came to catching the ball, he did not drop any wide open passes, thankfully. But there was a couple that he did drop in traffic, so not the most reliable in traffic. But if you're going to throw to the flats like this, you know, it should not really be much of a problem. Now, when it came to the hit stick, he took a few hit sticks. And I do recall his Team of the Week version had a bad fumbling problem when it came to clutch moments. He did not fumble as much, but you can see right here, I tried to truck this guy and I got punished for it. So once again, man, don't try to truck because you're most likely just going to be inviting a hit stick. But... He did not fumble, like I said, as much as his Team of the Week version did, but this right here was the one time he did fumble in kind of a clutch moment. 25 seconds left in the half, and you want to fumble the ball now, so fumbling should not be a huge issue from what I can tell. As far as the bad plays, of course he did have his moments, but as far as struggle points, like I said earlier, trucking was really the only thing that I could not get going on a consistent basis, so you can pretty much use them every other way, just don't truck with them. And the reason this was a deja vu review is because I just reviewed Tony Dorsett and that's exactly who Elliot reminded me of. Not a good power back but a pretty good elusive back. And not to mention the both Dallas Cowboy running backs so what are the odds of that right? But you see right here I mean the spin move was nice, the juke move was nice as well so that's why this is just a mini review because it did not take long to figure out what it is he did best. But anyways guys as far as comparing him and Dorsett I would say Dorsett is better not by much i'm not saying he's like extremely better than elliot but anyways guys if you pick him up use him however you want to but i say lean on the juke and the spin and hey if you want to hurdle people go ahead and hurdle some people so all in all guys a very very good elusive back and compared you know like i said to dorset on the field and right here as you see on paper dorset pretty much beats him at everything even with the price tag, I mean, I think Elliot goes for like what between five and six hundred k. Dorsey goes for like one twenty, which for you know obvious reasons. I mean, Elliot is a limited time car, so there's not that many of them compared to Dorsey, where like any of us could get him if you do a set. But anyways, guys, if I had to choose between one of them, obviously I'll say go with Dorsey. I think Elliot is more of a luxury pick. If you got the coins and you're a huge Elliot fan, I say why not? It's I mean obviously you can win with Elliot, but. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap this up. Like I said, huge shout out to ETP23. And as far as my next review, it's going to be uh, Clowney, Barry on defense. On offense, it's going to be the new uh, chemistry master, Antonio Brown. That one should be coming soon as well. But anyways guys, th that's going to wrap this up. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, to spread awareness, comment, to voice your opinion, and subscribe so you will be up to date with this content when it drops. And I will see you boys later. Peace.